Are you looking for the perfect, easier trail for a day trip with just enough challenges to keep it interesting? Well, take a look at this one. This trail is just above a novice level, but has enough mildly challenging terrain and is full of great views to make it part of a perfect day off-road. To top off this great trail, afterwards we went to one of our favorite spots for lunch and refreshments. It made for just about the perfect day. So the trail is called Box Canyon. It's near Wickenburg, Arizona, and the trail basically follows the path of the Hacienda River. The trail is about six miles in and back. I don't know. We'll you don't mean you don't know. We'll see. Let him out. Are you crazy? No. No one's around. What? No one's around. I know, but I'm afraid he's going to go somewhere. Come on, Loki. <laughs> to get to the staging area, I used Arizona Offroad.net. I'll put a link for it in the description below. It's my primary source for Arizona Offroad trips. At the trailhead, we aired down and let Loki stretch his legs. He was less than a year old when he made this trip, and as you can see, my brother was worried he'd bolt when he jumped out of the truck, but he was a good boy. We entered the canyon through a rocky, moderately steep descent on a narrow trail. The trail soon opened up to a wide, sandy river bottom. It's important to keep in mind that even though this trail is only rated a 4 out of 10 for difficulty from azoffroad.net, it does have some more challenging spots and can become significantly harder depending on the weather. After a rainfall, this area can get very muddy, and the trail ahead includes several water crossings which can be significantly deeper after a rainfall. You should definitely avoid this area entirely during a rainstorm. Remember, you are basically traversing a river bottom through a canyon. As we entered the sandy area after the initial descent, we took a couple of minutes to take in our surroundings and get some drone footage. After we got our bearings, we continued forward. The wide path soon gave way to the canyon and the scenery was beautiful. You can see the excitement on my brother's face here, where he's talking about how much he was enjoying the trip. While he was mugging for the camera though, you can see me busy in the background, setting up the drone to capture some of the beauty he was talking about. As we headed deeper in, we saw more and more water, and the canyon began to narrow down. That was my favorite part. I loved driving through the narrow path with the canyon walls rising to each side. It felt like I was in a hidden world even though we weren't by ourselves. Day, we ran into a handful of other folks. Most were ATVers and other off-roaders like us, and everybody seemed to be enjoying themselves. We even thought we ran into some gold prospectors, but we weren't sure. Is gold prospecting still a thing in Box Canyon? At one point, we seemed to be approaching the end of the trail, and we looked for a place to pull over.
stepped out to take in the scene and let Loki stretch his legs again. After soaking in the sights for a while and playing fetch with Loki for a bit, we all started to get thirsty. The river water looked cool and inviting, but my brother warned us of a local legend. It said that anyone who drinks from that water could never tell the truth again, so we decided to quench our thirst a different way. We loaded back up and headed to our favorite water hole in Wickenburg, but not before having a little more fun splashing through the river. As we near the exit, I found myself having to slow down to make sure my brother could keep up. I think it was at this point I decided to sell the Rebel and get a Tacoma so I don't lose my brother in the future. We aired back up at the staging area and headed into town for lunch. Wickenburg began as a mining town as one of the oldest towns north of Tucson, and it's the fifth oldest town in the state. It was established in 1863. At its height, Wickenburg was the third largest town in Arizona. It narrowly missed becoming the territorial capital by only two votes in 1866. Today, the town is filled with all sorts of historic sites, shopping, great restaurants and bars, and rodeos, and all sorts of outdoor activities. After we parked, we unloaded Loki, and we walked through the town to find our watering hole. It's our favorite bar and it's in the heart of town. It's called the Mecca Bar and Grill. It's kind of a cross between a biker and cowboy bar, but all are welcome. We love relaxing here with a couple of cold, refreshing pints, and the dog-friendly outdoor patio is perfect for Loki. I'm so glad I was able to share this day with you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it got you thinking of planning your next day trip. And if you have any ideas for future trips you want to share, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to see them. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video too. See you on the next adventure.